detailed review of Marvel Universe Rhino. So here's Rhino. He is the he's the newest Marvel Universe figure. He would came back 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 when he was in a two pack with uh, Spider Man. And that figure was all right. Uh, the, I recommend this one more. It's more of the new builder mold. And I think he's a better figure, and he's easier to come by now. So anyway, uh, he does use the abomination mo mold. So here is the abomination. So as you can see, what they did, they do have the same hands. They got, they gave him a different head. Back still the same. Everything's still the same, and different feet. So you basically do have the same figure, but different head, different paint job. But you can definitely tell these are two different figures. And like what I do is I have Abomination stand up like that. Then I have Rhino crunch over a little bit. Because he's Rhino and he's always down, like ready to charge. So I always have him like that. Abomination like that. Because he stands taller. But that's up to you. But that's really that. So anyway, so automatically you can see he does have an ab, ab crunch and rotation. Armed rotate. In and out. Bend the elbow. Rotate the wrist and rotate the elbow. Head rotate and up and down. His head's actually very good molded. He actually had some rhino eyes there. Some horn. It's actually a good figure. Legs can go up. They can go in and out, and the way they go up is they turn, so it's weird. The knee, rotate the knee, and the foot up and down and pivot. So he's pretty poseable for a big guy, but like I said, I keep him down. And then, see, I can you can make him look up very high, or keep him down. or But that's also me taking him off the ball joint a little bit. So yeah, I'll, I'll stand him up completely, just to show you a size difference. I mean, here he is next to the new black-suited Spider-Man. Mm, as you can see. Uh, damn, he keeps falling. As you can see, compared to him, he's pretty small. I mean, I personally, I think Spider-Man should be... His top of his head should be right here. So about this big? I understand what they're trying to do, I mean, what the scale is. So it's not in scale, as to say, but I mean, if you think about it, Rhino is just a normal person in a suit and can just has a hard head. So in reality, this is actually some, the way it is. But I don't know. I mean, here I'll compare him with an old, old big guy, as in the Juggernaut. So as you can see, them. This new body mold's much bigger, but this one's more skinnier, more realistic. But that's really as you compared. So we'll put Juggernaut away. We'll keep him standing. But that's really has been it for this review. There's not much to say about him. So is he, uh, do I recommend him? Yes, I recommend him. He is a Spider-Man fig and uh, Arthur Nemesis has been around for a while. So if you have a Spider-Man collection, you kind of do have to get him. And if you're a Marvel Universe collector, you're getting a Rhino just because he's Spider-Man's <laughs> again they're versus Spider-Man all the time. Just like Goblin and like Mysterio and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.